Now, we talked about this in our last episode together, but I wanted to see if there's any new information since then. It's often said that organic gardening results in better chemical profile, terpenes, flavonoids, styles. Is there any data at this point to back up that claim? The short your answer is yes. Um, and I, the mechanism here is precision stress because organic, the produced food is often on the low side for nitrogen, for especially for nitrogen. And if nitrogen's limiting, the plants, the, some of these beneficial compounds in plants get more concentrated um, in the produce. And that's then, then you have a, something that has more concentrated nutrients, phytochemicals, as you, as you, uh, maybe we should be calling those phytopharmaceuticals if they're good. Chemicals is bad. Pharmaceuticals are good, right? But, but they're, they're compounds. They're, Plant produce compounds that are beneficial to people. Um, so I, when when I read these studies and review them, I'm I'm looking for uh, beneficial effects of subtle stresses associated with organic food production. Um, and again, it's it's tricky to manage nutrients. I mean. Hydroponics is like IV feeding. We get everything exactly right, not too much, not too little. Organics, we, we, we need to recycle everything back to agriculture, but it's imprecise fertilization. We rely on the microbes to make the nutrients bioavailable again. And sometimes we get too much, sometimes we get too little. Um, but precision stress increases phytopharmaceuticals. That's a, that's a, rock solid principle. So if we can get the right stress at the right time, we can have higher food quality. And there is some, there's literature on that too. For somebody that wants to use Google Scholar and go searching for the referee journal articles, there's literature on that. I'm glad I asked that question because in our last episode, three years ago, you had mentioned at that time, there was no data to kind of back up that claim and science is evolving, right? We uncover new things at all times. So I'm really glad to hear that uh, you know there has been some findings in that area now. Again, it's, it's associating it with the mechanism too. Why it's not just an observation; it's an observation coupled with why did this occur. That's what makes it science: is mechanisms that help us explain what we see. This clip is brought to you by Vivo Sun. Use discount code Mister Grow15 to save on any of their gardening products. Go to the full episode by clicking the outro card here or. Click the link in the description section below. Catch you in the next video.